Hi, we're at the RDS for the Dublin Web Summit. My name is Blonda Healy, and I'm joined by Mark Little, who's the founder of Storyful. So Mark, tell us, how have the last uh, little while been going for Storyful and where are things going in the future for it? It's a bit nuts for us because, you know, I started it last year and I spent a lot of time. I think the one because say retrospect was I, I talked about it too much. You know, I kind of went to the events like Dublin Web Summit and sort of tried to explain the idea and people were kind of blanked over and didn't get it. So what we do is, a lot of what we do is in private. So Storyful is a news agency designed for the social media age. What we do is find and verify and deliver the most valuable news content we can find on platforms like YouTube or Twitter. What does the future of journalism look like to you? I think the fundamental shift that's happened has not yet been understood. So I was just saying at the summit here, when I started off, we were hacks, you know, we, we dug for facts and we delivered them to a passive audience. And we were all about the scarcity of information. So now it's about the overabundance of information. I mean, what, 28 hours of YouTube videos uploaded every single minute. Now, how do you get the authentic video, the really, the voice you must listen to and raise it above the noise? So that's what journalism is all about. So that fundamental kind of existential shift then leads to other things. So how do we give people the ability to interact? Um, a third of American internet users do something with news. They share it, link to it, create it, blog about it. And so everyone really is a journalist and the role of the professional journalist is to be kind of a manager of that overabundance. We use the term curator. Take the really cool stuff and rise it, elevate it above the noise. So that's the future of journalism for me. You were obviously a journalist, correspondent, television presenter in, in a past life. <laughs> Could you ever imagine working for a traditional news organization again? Two answers. One answer is no. Second answer is that by the time I'd ever consider going back to any media organization, it wouldn't be traditional anymore. You know, the idea that uh, traditional news organizations have a, have a, have a lifespan, um, I think is ridiculous. I think every news organization, be it a broadcaster, a newspaper, will, will have end up just looking very similar. So I think ultimately the, the mainstream traditional media organizations kind of, its days are numbered. But that's not to say we won't see newspapers thrive in a different format. TV stations broadening out to become much more multimedia. Um, so that's a long way of saying no. What's your advice to uh, news organizations who are still in denial about social media, community, and the future of where things are going? Get your CV ready, because you're going to have to find another job, because your job's over. As simple as that, unless you move, you're dead. And I think ultimately for me, the news organizations that will survive, and they will, and newspapers will survive, and TV stations and radio stations, some will actually thrive, are the ones who realize that it's no longer about print or broadcast. It's about journalism, it's about the quality of journalism, and it's about social, and it's about mobile, and it's all those forces that are coming together. And as I say, if you do not take action right now, yesterday, to change, uh, then I think it's over, and you just go get another job. Mark Little, thanks very much for joining us, and Thank enjoy you. the rest of the summit. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.